Hello everybody and welcome back to Novice to Nightmare Plays Oxygen Not Included uh, on Hovel. This is episode 4 and in this one we are going to look at getting into this natural gas geyser and then sorting out a few problems around the base, get some life support up and a self-powered oxygen maker uh, just to make life that little bit easier. We're back in a food shortage because uh, things still haven't stabilized with this farm but they will, especially when I re reject the next duplicate. Which, yeah, that was quite inevitable. Um, so I'm just gonna, I guess, crack this open. Um, I'm just gonna make sure that everything else is done in the background first. So I'll run for one or two cycles. Everything shouldn't fall apart by then. Um, and when I drop back in, most of the little kind of background jobs should be done, just so that I can focus on this. Um, so that we can get some power centralize the power and then make a self-powered oxygen maker somewhere away from our farm because they throw out a little bit of heat um but yeah that's the next objective so i'll drop back in when all the odd jobs are done well there goes hassan so we got we got a few things done there um we've stockpiled a little bit more food but hassan was spending a little bit too much time in the toasty water over here uh and racked up both heat stroke and some pretty severe scalds uh but that's a few things more done on the map, uh, a little bit tidier. I'm just going to create a sink for this chlorine, and then that's the last thing I'll do before getting this natural gas underway. So, uh, yeah, just a case of coring right down here. It'll also uncover a bit more of the map. I'll get trapped by this boulder here, but we'll get this a little bit cored out. Um, that's not going to release any more gas upwards, is it? Well, yeah, it'll, it'll actually let the sour gas float up, so never mind. Um, I'll just squish the chlorine down with some new oxygen, maybe. Uh, or is there anywhere else I could send it? No, not really. Plus, yeah, I don't have a digger that's good enough yet, so maybe that's not a priority. Now, this is working over time. I'm going to drop that back down to 25. Um, and I don't think the temperature will get back up to that here for quite a bit of time, so that's fine. Um... Okay, let's crack this open. I want to put this the natural gas generators up here, just above here, so they can drop water in. So let's get those built first, and then kind of work backwards from there. So, send them four in from the door. And in my experience, each natural gas generator can kind of run three or four of these. So, I'll throw in four just for completeness. And drop mesh tiles there, 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 and there. Run that right across. And yeah, we'll get all of this built first so that we can just throw a gas pump in here. There'll be a little chlorine that might try to break this, but uh, it's not the end of the world. No, I might insulate it. Do I have a... Let me see. No, I don't have a gas pump that can deal with the temperature of this, which is going to come out at 150. So I would actually need steel to do that, which I definitely don't have at this stage. Um, so maybe not insulate the whole thing. For now. Uh, I'll go in up here, maybe. That hydrogen's not going to cause problems. The chlorine will. Uh, oh, why don't I just core straight through? I forgot that was an option. They're going to have to dunk in the... That's why. <laughs> They're going to have to dunk in the scalding hot water. Uh, across and up. That's going to be what we do. So, let's get that a seven. Now, I could drain it from below. We're over pressure. I could drain it from below and then wait until it's dormant before I start trying to make any more complicated changes. It's not what I like to do. I like to try and get in there and kind of wall it all off, but I might just do that this time, just to save me some some headache. Um, that'll line up nicely with where the door would be. Is that going to be 24? Yeah, okay. We'll do that. It's just, it's a little less effort. Uh, and we'll fix it eventually. I'm just going to leave that so that I can break into that whenever everything's done, so I'm doing things in the proper order. Um, okay, we're going to want to centralize power in this base a little bit, so for this one, 
I also like to have coal generators kind of stacked in a line with an option to turn them on or, uh, with an automation signal when I want them, just as a kind of emergency power thing um, for after we get this up and running. Obviously this will go dormant on us at some point, but by then we should have another source, maybe. Okay, coal generators I think go in here. So let's put this here and centralize our power a little bit. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, it'll fit fairly nicely if I put a fifth. And then, ah, you know what? No, change of plans. Smart battery. And then I can fit perfectly another two in there whenever I get the metal for it. I do technically, but I don't want to use it. So yeah, I'll just get this built across. Now that there's less panic, this should be slightly more kind of comfortable builds. Yeah, we're working towards having extra food, which is good. A lot of people have food poisoning. I'm not quite sure why. They should be all washing their hands and stuff. Oh, that'll be why. The meal lice have food poisoning. And we're blasting it into the air over here. Mm hmm, that is a small problem. Yeah, because our water has a lot of food poisoning in it. It's not ideal. Also, we're already running out of water. Which is not good either. I thought we'd be able to focus on this today, but maybe not. We might need to just kind of drink up one of these or something. Why is the germs there? See, I can't even really get in. I'd have to... There's an abyssalite break, but I'd have to do something a little bit acrobatic there. And yeah, again, here, I, I can't... I can't get into any of them. <laughs> but I can get in here. So this is actually our most viable source of water, weirdly. Um, you all got elevated to priority 8 now. Hassan, what are you up to, buddy? Oh, you're still healing, probably. They were quite severe injuries. Oh, you're... St yeah, you're down to a seven. That's not ideal. That's really bad. Oh my gosh. Well, I'll get this little section built and get us back on track. Well, Hassan's still recovering, and before we could get much of anything done down here, we have a new duplicate available. Ooh, and I would be very, very tempted by a farmer. Our four floors are making 96 plants worth of food, so that's enough for nine dupes. We could take another, and a farmer would be a very appealing idea. Even you, actually, would be quite good, Ruby. Um, it's actually quite good across the board. I don't like loud sleepers, but yeah, I think we can support it. I mean, there are some of the plants just aren't getting done, and before we had to respec someone into farming, Camille will be a lot more efficient for that job. Um, and she's good all round in terms of none of these are awful. So yeah, Camille, welcome to the team. We're going to instantly throw you a point in farming, and I'm just going to go through everyone and throw their hats on, actually. Um, you're our super hard digger. Oh! Well, of course I would miss that. <laughs> we do have a super duper hard digger. That's perfect. May, you're going to be unstoppable soon. Uh, our astronomer. We got our carrier. Another carrier. <laughs> and a builder. This is a pretty good, uh, pretty good across the board. We got a carrier. Farmer. Farmer. Carrier, carrier, carrier. So four. Yeah, nearly half of them are carriers, but that's kind of a pretty essential job, just keeping everything running, so... Uh, accidental pun, I guess. Uh, they do spend a lot of time sprinting around the map. But yeah, having another farmer on the team is pretty good. Uh, so you can do that. And Turner gets back to uh, just being a runner, which is perfect. 
auto. Yeah, you're all spec'd up good. May. Yeah, okay, everyone's doing what they're supposed to. Which is super. Pretty industrious work over here from May. Very speedy. Perfect. Um, yeah, you know what, May? Let's core down and investigate a little deeper. Whereabouts are you, by the way? Cool. Okay, so that'll get done as well. In the meantime, Hazan is just healing up. Uh, I should probably put someone on priority doctoring. Anyone who has even a tiny bit of talent here would be nice. Heh, <laughs> auto. Yeah, you're, you're usually doing kind of odd jobs anyways, so that's good. We'll get you to a doctoring. And is that going to be your first priority? Oh, I might have missed that. Oh, okay, cool. That'll just get Hassan on their feet a little bit quicker, which helps a lot. And yeah, because uh, May's not going to bother building the ladders, well, unless uh, there's nothing else to do at all on the map for her. Um, what's your, uh, what's your skill level up to now? Excavation 10. Oh, cool. Yeah, so you're very speedy at that. And yeah, the chlorine's getting down, but it's not actually bothering the plants for the most part. Maybe just for the briefest of seconds in places. It's quite a lot of it. I really don't like that. I think we're getting a bit of leak from the bleach stone. Maybe. Uh, which is something I'm kind of trying to think of in the background, but... Hopefully that's not going to source us too much. And especially when we get this base really up to pressure with these electrolyzers, that's not going to bother us too much. So, um... Yeah, we'll get this sink organized, migrate the carbon skimmer down, and then this will all be oxygen. In theory, at least. Now, that could do with uh, some deodorizers in here because of the off-gassing of uh, just a still pool of polluted water. Off-gasses polluted oxygen. Cool. Okay. So Hassan, how are you doing in terms of health? Everyone's taking some minor injuries, it's not great. Runaway patient. <laughs> That's funny. Ah, see that's backing up a little bit. Are we still pumping water into it? No. In that case, we can afford to... If someone could just lift one bubble out of there, that would be handy. Who's our plumber? There we go. That should stop backing up now. The second that turns off, the system backs up a little bit, but that bubble should stop that from happening. Yeah, whatever, whatever way it works, that should be smoothed out now. Everything down here is a good temperature. It's good to see. Yeah, they got some of that in, uh, insulated piping, piping in, which helps. Joshua, you look pleased. It's the new friend, I guess. Uh, any skills of note? Yeah, you can zip around the map real quick now. That's perfect. Uh, and I'll give you an improved carrying capacity. I don't want anything above, like, a 9. That seems to be the lowest that we'll get to. I'm also going to say um, a slightly different set of automation here. So, if the batteries are low and I have manually uh, selected it, these will come on. Just that if I manually select it and then forget about it, they don't just run on forever. Um, because they are just meant to be a backup measure. So that should be the right setup for automation. Um, I'll make all that. Don't know if I can set the priority. No, can't set the priorities of just automation. Oh, and you're building stuff. Lindsay must have really nothing else to do. That's good to see. Every th other thing should be met. <laughs> yep, thought that would happen. We are out of water. Um, 
I don't know if it will... So that's going to drain our oxygen. But I don't know if that's enough of an urgent measure for us to worry about it. We should get these online. They'll start throwing polluted water in there. And that'll be solvable pretty quickly. There are no other pools of polluted water that we can get into really anyway. Uh, there's some, a little bit of salt water there, but nothing worth even trying to desalinate, so maybe not. Okay, that's looking good. Anything interesting? Nope. Some volcanic stuff, though. And a toasty caustic biome. Yeah. It's just a continuation of this, I think. Um, right. If these could get built, I would love it. Party nine. <laughs> As are those, those, and you know what? That too. Not those though. That's just our, yeah, cooking ingredients so they don't spoil on the map. And they're all hating their food. <laughs> it's better than nothing, folks. Yeah, that looks a little bit more hospitable. Uh, heat's been leaking out of this biome, and we're throwing some more in there. Um, and this cool should spread kind of in this direction too, which will just give a bit of a buffer if this system goes offline, because then the heat will leach out into that as well. So the longer you have one of these systems online, uh, if it's free to exchange with the environment around it, it will kind of build up a buffer to being disturbed, which is nice. Uh, to see, oh no, I spy an abyssalite break. That, that's a guaranteed sign of one. Look, that's dropping in temperature. The obsidian is slowly, slowly... Oh no, we need to wall that off ASAP. That's terrifying. Oh no, it's steam, just loads of steam. Oh, that's... Okay, can I get this built quickly enough that I can worry about that second? Because I don't want to have to worry about water. That won't exchange t temperature too quickly that it's going to stifle our farm. But we need to cap that ASAP. Oh, thank you for volcanoes, folks. <laughs> That's a that's a challenge. It's losing temperature like remarkably quickly. Like each tile is throwing off 0.1 of a degree every couple seconds. Wow. There'll be a lot of melted phosphorus around the around this area because that melts a pretty low temperature. Um. Oh no, that's a lot of steam. So so there was some water somewhere here. Maybe a. Ooh. Well a. Side effect is that it might kill some of the slime around it in this kind of locality. We'll find out. How is the building going? Okay, cool. So these are all online. Uh, and without a sink, that just turned on for ages. That's fine by me. Let's link that up to the same power grid here. And then we can destroy these. And that's going to be trying to drain... Oh. A little bit too much power. Uh, I don't think it'll all come on a line at once. I, with that door as well, that's a little bit strange. But yeah, I don't think they'll all be running at the exact same time, so... Fingers crossed that won't be an issue. Plus, we could always throw in some refined metal in there. I don't like deleting one of these that's full of power, because it means that you're deleting some resources that were there before, but it's fine. And we'll relocate your metal up here. Cool. Uh, so get those built and then we can dig up here. With a little bit of smart automation I should be able to suck the air out of here that isn't natural gas. Uh, with a gas filter I could just throw the natural gas back in and generate a natural gas only area. And then I can not worry about the gas filter. Okay, yeah, a liquid lock would be nice. But I don't really have the liquid part of that anywhere to be found. Um, yeah, that's not ideal. But a liquid lock would be really, really nice. For now, we're just going to have to let a little bit of gas escape. You know what? I'll let this damage the uh, generators and just kind of live with it. It's a, it's a filter of its own kind, I suppose. Um, so I want that running out. And that's going to throw off some carbon dioxide, but that's not critical. Um. 
if I line that up perfectly with uh, that there, it should suck up most of it without it kind of getting away. Okay, that's 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 a new challenge. That's stressing me out a little bit. I forgot that sometimes they can be uncapped, even though that's happened to me recently enough. Um, I thought I should have remembered. So yeah, add a challenge of volcanoes. You have to cap them sometimes. We're gonna get a few scaldings, but that's okay. Uh, what else have we unlocked? Oh, some decor. Nothing too special. Oh, and I could make an infinite storage pit, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Anyone interesting? Not really. Some all-rounders. You're pretty good. I'd love a builder, but I don't think I'm going to take you. We don't quite have the systems up and running. And someone will come along again. Okay, let's get this done. <laughs> Just prioritizing everything. Hmm. I could throw the, uh, what's the gas pressure here? I could just throw the, some of the oxygen out here, just to minimize damage. To the, well, no, I don't really care. <laughs> At the end of the day, if it gets damaged, it gets damaged and we can repair it. That's fine. Probably be a good idea to hook it up to the, hook it up to the uh, main power there. And then I'll hook it up to some automation so I'm not wasting natural gas either. This is going to be a bit messy, but again, I, I will fix all of this and tidy all this up because it upsets me as much uh, as it's going to upset anyone else. Get all that built. Um, okay, yeah, that, that won't take a lot of time to get running for us hopefully and are we gonna suffer much the effects of no water oh our toilets are gonna cause problems actually next in that case we'll throw a little bit more water back into the system although only once we get some power here okay let's turn those on just for a second just want to get some water back in here so the toilets don't cause us issues. Oh, someone doesn't have a bed. Right enough. They wouldn't, I suppose. That can be all nine as well. We'll get it built. I'm not liking that that looks like it's due to be filled. Um, but it just keeps it symmetrical-ish. Or slightly more symmetrical than if I had only uh, five. Okay, did I throw much water back in here? <laughs> Not much at all. Oh well. Like I really, there's nothing I can do about this. Realistically, I could core in. Oh, with, no! I was literally boasting about how I had a <laughs> newly specked up uh, digger. I could get in here and just use spend a bit of power to uh, solve the water problem. And I'll just put a coal generator up here for some local power. Or even a manual. Nah. Oh, this is going to be annoying. <laughs> One second. That looks atrocious. <laughs> oh well. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, that's convenient. I can just run it into the off. The uh, kind of line from that. Nice. And yeah, we can just drop a coal generator about there. With the hmm, I don't think there's point in putting a smart battery here. That'll drain quite quickly. Um, but I'm really picky about wasting power, so I'm gonna anyway. Do we have coal? Do we even have coal? Yeah, we've got a few tons. Um, this can be it. 
No, this is more urgent than everything else, actually. Okay, that's almost done anyway. And we got some beds for whoever was sleeping on the floor before. Cool. How's this looking? Uh, scary. But nothing... Once this iron ore starts to get to like 60, then I'll stress a lot more. But for now, it should be fine. And iron ore is pretty conductive too. Uh, well, not majorly of four, but uh, that'll quickly kind of bridge that gap. It's not threatening our farms though. Oh, <laughs> that's a very intimidating sight. But thankfully it's nicely capped off. Cool. Well, we did discover something digging down. Um, yeah, never dig straight down and <laughs> auction not included. Yeah, you can. Nope, and nope. Everything else is fine. Now some sour gas will have floated up. Yep. Riding on a wave of carbon dioxide up in to annoy our farm. That figures. And the food shortage will be partly because of all these little blips of red that we're getting. And partly because we're not doing stuff quick enough. Like fertilizing plants. Yeah, I don't like that. If there's ever six at one time offline, then we start to dip into not enough food, which is not great. I'll get this water going and then I'll migrate that carbon skimmer. May, you've, you're trapped. My bad. Let's build you some ladders. Is there anything material up here? Nope, you can't reach anything. Well, <laughs> we'll get you out of there. You can build them out of obsidian. And then you can do it yourself. Well, someone's going to do it for you. Okay, so that should be fixed. <laughs> Look at that horrible, horrible pipe. <laughs> horrible, but sadly necessary. Just about now. Uh, this can be on permanently. There's no such thing as a backup power when you don't actually have a main power system, so... Let's also queue up filling, filling those quite urgently. Just like everything else on this map, I'm putting it as urgent, but yep. Uh -oh. What is this? Cool, okay, let's get this built. And there we go. That'll be running pretty nicely for us, and with no wasted coal. Um, which should solve quite a few problems at once, just injecting some more water into the system. But we have a new potential. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, this is, that's a pretty good kind of across the board dupe, but again, I would need someone with some pretty outstanding stuff. Like a diver's lungs combination with some really cool stats would be nice, but uh, I'm afraid not. And this hydrogen's getting pretty crazy, so let's just solve that the easy way. <laughs> By coring right up through the world. That's going to throw a bit more. And if I just cancel exactly that one, uh, it won't put much more. Uh, it won't put much more chlorine back into our base. Although it will when I get to here. So never mind on that one. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just want somewhere for the hydrogen to go. Is that water arrived yet? It has. Perfect. That's pretty vital. Yeah, we were starting to get people not washing their hands, I bet. Although it doesn't seem to have had much effect. And some of these germs are leaving, which is good. I don't know why. Oh, it's because we ran out of water. So that'll um, cause problems again in a second. You're a goner. Uh, so I need to migrate this down. How's this looking? Oh, I got everything sorted for that. Oh, what are you telling me? I've never seen a pipe... I've never seen a green yellow before. Strained. Huh. That's weird. I guess it's because so many things are trying to come online at once. That is quite strange. Yeah, they are all running at once, which uh, I kind of said I thought they wouldn't do, didn't I? 
Well, um, how much wire? Mm, not very much. Not much metal. That's enough for not quite 20 spaces, and yeah, it's not going to be enough. Um, throw that on its own grid. Yeah. Why not? I mean, I want to put a gas pipe on here anyway, so that's really not going to solve that problem. Oh well, I know how to fix it. Uh, put, a th put a transformer down here, and then set this on its own grid. But I haven't really left myself any space to do that. Because foresight apparently doesn't exist for me. Um, there, 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 and there. Cool. Link that up. That will get cut off, and then that'll solve that problem slightly. Uh, what else? There. Chop, chop. Okay, so this is going to be out of power for just a second, but that'll fix itself. And then I can take these offline. Which frees up a bit more metal, which is good. There we go. Cool. This is very close to being ready to go. Um, let's just... Now this is obviously not how the, it's permanently going to run. Uh, but it will have to do for now. That can go as well. Is everything else running okay? Yeah, and that'll be drained completely empty pretty quickly. Uh, and there's probably even a way to get over there if I really need to. So we've uncovered, oh, I think that's a pair of volcanoes. Oh, that's gonna be really nice to, um, in, in the distant future, if I can get those kind of tapped into for power and stuff, that'll be really nice to have those right next to each other. It would be nearly impossible to run those out of uh, power. <laughs> Not that we have a shortage of volcanoes. This really is a toasty map. Nothing on Oasis, but uh, still not great. So how's all this looking? See, I'm about to move that anyway, so... I'll probably put it down here on its own floor. Let's throw in some uh, spacing for these. No one needs to suffer through me uh, counting and then recounting my grid to make sure I've got everything right. So that leaves the last one down here. I'll let that water drop somewhere down here. And then we can uh, put our carbon skimmer here. Oh, cool. Okay, we've got a, we do actually have an ocean biome down there. Which is good. It'll be tricky to get to. In a conventional way, at least. Um, but not impossible. But yeah, there'll be lots of lettuce in there for in case of emergency. <laughs> Although it might all have rotted. But sometimes you get lucky. Uh, there's like water weed or whatever that grows in there. And it's it throws off a lot of, a lot of calories. That have saved me in the past. Carbon skimmer. And then we have a nice big carbon sink. Uh, and then all of the other gases should get trapped in around here somewhere. I could even core out a big space for them. Food poisoning for Joshua. Okay. So that's gonna... Well, that's not actually helpful to us right now. Um, pliers. Another supremely helpful mod is the pliers mod down here. Um, it just lets you do stuff like that straight away. Now that's the closest thing to some kind of a cheat I have because it is a game modifying behavior. Um, otherwise I'd have to go in there and disconnect that manually with a duplicate. So yeah, it is, you know, 
It's pretty low grade, but it is changing the behavior of the game, so it's not entirely vanilla. But yeah, let's get dug up here, and then we can actually turn that on. And then yeah, these have all, all already been damaged, but I'm willing to pay 320 kilos of aluminium more just so I don't have to build a weird, complicated um, locking system up here. I'm just going to lock this and close off permissions to it in a minute. Where's May? May. And what is May doing? Okay. Cool. You're going to go do that now. Oh. I don't like that at all. That's spooky. Yeah. Should I put some higher up? Mm, they wouldn't quite survive at that temperature. No, we'll just deal with this problem the proper way. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully I can get that fixed in time. The problem is that we don't have enough oxygen to drive those gases back down again. But that'll be fixed. Ah, we need power. Why is this unpowered? Because this is fixed. So, okay, the source of the gas problem is actually this transformer. Let's get that built. Please, Hassan. And then we'll pressurize and force those down and we'll get food online again. I'm thankful for this little bit of surplus. Not that there's much there at all. I'm just kind of curious to see what's in those two packets, and they'll take no time at all to be dealt with. <laughs> just for the sake of getting rid of one more red warning, I'll throw five kilos of metal at that problem. Um, I don't like the non-native slime over there. Oh well. No, oh, that's a bit of light. I was <laughs> thought there was more heat leaking from a from a volcano. That's a little toasty over there. I'm just on the lookout for that now that I found one. I wonder if there were signs of that earlier on my previous kind of mouse overs, or. I wonder if I had to get close enough for it to trigger. I don't know if all of the map is running when you're not looking at it, because I know that critters only spawn in whenever you kind of discover them, because um, you get like a little wild notification or whatever. So yeah, I'd be curious to know if anyone knows whether the map is kind of running like temperature um, calculations in the background before before you've actually uncovered that part of the map. Okay, so that should be good to go. And then we just lock that door. And now we're going to get a lot of damaged pipes down here, but eventually that'll sort itself out. Because there's not too many other gases in here. Here we go. Now we're wasting power because <laughs> that didn't get finished. But that's not the end of the world right now. Passing me out, just knowing that that's slowly ticking away. Starving. Um, well, this is going to start to force the gases down, so hopefully these will repressurize. And then we're going to want to throw some pipes down here. So water in. And water out. And then I'll fix that one out for these are all done. And we're going to want to power that. Cool. That's a long build. That'll, that'll take a second or two to actually be completed. Meanwhile, these things are getting fixed. Um, and yeah, they are s not quite wasting power yet. But once these get filled, they will be. Although this is still running. That's good to see. I'll get someone up there to analyze that just while we are waiting. And it'd be nice to have a gas tank installed. This whole row will probably become gas tanks for this geyser, actually. 
it's not important now, but it will be when this goes dormant. A couple of gas tanks can actually um, tide you over for maybe like 10 cycles out of the dormant period, which can be up to 70. Um, and with enough gas tanks and enough geysers, you can actually get by on just natural gas, um, depending on how much power you're actually using in your system. I've had kind of like a si an area this size just filled with natural gas uh, reservoirs which are then surrounded by natural gas and the whole s the whole system never really failed on me because I didn't use that much power in that build. So that works sometimes. Now we're almost drained from there but we have lots to work with and to turn into clean water which is good and we're getting even more from this now so water has maybe almost stopped being an issue. Now if I core that out and this out We'll re release the last of this chlorine and we'll also kind of let this spread out a bit more. Which isn't a bad thing. I'd rather have that done and these built and out of the way. This food shortage is going to become a major issue. We might have to sacrifice a Draco or something. Um, or two or three. But for now it's fine. This is very nice pink. Just from all of the hydrogen that's been collecting from our electrolyzers. We will do something with that eventually, but now is not the time tiny part of me wants to just kind of let this fall in and bake all the slime. It would be a really stupid plan, but maybe later down the line. I just hate dealing with slime biomes. Quite a lot. Okay, speed things up and let's get all of these, these built. Well, hang on. I want to make sure that our food isn't going to go offline on us. How is this looking? I could just put an electrolyzer. No, I forgot they throw off temperature. Uh, no, this should be fine. The gases will escape down here eventually. When I get this online, yeah. We have enough food. Just about. Hopefully. Well, we're about to find out. Let me just. Uh, not much got done before I started to stress out about food again. We have a new duplicate to reject. Sorry. Um. Yeah, Ada was decent there, but not for me at this stage, because we're already starving, sort of. Uh, I might crack some of these open just for that little bit of meat, just in case, because yeah, there's definitely more than six plants blipping off now, so that's not ideal. Anything interesting to be had up here? No. Yeah, we're going to need to find meat around the map, I think. How is this? How close is this to pushing uh, this line? Yeah, it's not getting pushed down quick enough. We really need to get this built quickly. Um, but yeah, some alternative food sources would be good for now. No one's starving, but that's that's only seconds away from happening, I think. I could put more plants down, but I'll take three cycles to spin up. This is becoming a habitable area for plants. Just about. It's a little bit colder. So I can nearly put some in here. That might be a good solution, just for now. Rip that out. Put half of that to a slightly higher priority. <laughs> slightly higher. Shift this down by one. And then put some plant pots in here. Ah, but it's just gonna they're just gonna have no gas. What am I talking about? Never mind. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, that was silly. That was foolish. Hey. They're running nice. Uh, some CO2 in there as well. Yeah, there's some not nice gases in there, but uh, it's okay. No one's going to get to research that because I've locked this door. Uh, if we build a liquid lock, I'll let someone back in there. But for now, I'm afraid not. Uh, are they building this? Slowly but surely. Oh well. It'll get done. Oh, that's toasty. Suffocating. Oh, you have no way of climbing up.
Oh, a little bit of added stress. <laughs> Why is that so hot? Uh, some obsidian from this setup spawned outside and then melted some phosphorus. So that must have gotten up to 200 and f uh, 250 degrees or so at one stage. I, I It must run temperature stuff in the background. Otherwise, stuff like that wouldn't happen as much. I imagine. I really don't know. This is nice and cool. I'd really love some plants up here. But there's enough sour gas. What? That's the colour of sour gas. Come on. Huh, CO2 looks kind of purplish. Maybe it's just me. I might have the colours in my display set up a bit weirdly. Like, that looks quite purplish too. Who knows? Okay, uh... This is getting done. Slowly. We have a little bit of food. Ah, oh, but there's so many plants not working. Up here. Let's build some up here. Sorry about that. That sounds horrible. Um, yeah, that'll, that'll hopefully work. I could put in some radiant pipes here. Not too many, we don't, we don't really have the metal to spare, but yeah. I'm gonna say that's the new solution. <laughs> yeah, we've got a starving dupe. Oh, and no food. Yeah, that's actually a big issue. Um, critter, 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 critter. You. Oh no, it's night time. Okay, hang on. Yeah, you've got enough calories to survive the night. So you'll be fine. It's somewhere around the 750 mark in my experience. You're gone, and you're gone too. Sorry. They'll also wake up to slightly more food down here, but it's not going to be quick enough. We just need a little surplus to tide us through building that new farm section. Oh. <laughs> yes, that would be getting wet, wouldn't it? Nope. There are other priorities. Oh, that's an industrious sounding. <laughs> Too hot? No. They will, eh, they might not even get too hot. That's below 30 degrees for the most part. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner as a solution to a problem that I made a lot more complicated there. Oh well. If we get a spawn online, I might just leave all these plants where they are and then invite some new duplicates in. We'll see. The spawn being a self-powered auction maker. Um. Yeah, okay. All's looking slightly better, at least when these start to grow, but that's three cycles away. But if we can survive not starving for three cycles, then that's fine. Huh. Okay, let's get this built. Uh, fingers crossed for my food s supply. It's gonna tank again, actually, this evening. Because they're... that's all meat, I think. Yeah. Any more critters around the map? Again, I don't tend to want to run them to extinction, but... Hmm. Is there a way to turn power, which we have plenty of, to food? Not really. Mm, we have plenty of water too. We could run the microbe musher. I got rid of it, because I didn't think I would need it again. But, these will take too long to grow. Eh, we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Again, not much progress. And a starvation warning. Come on, folks. We can get through this. Uh, Hassan's making good progress here. But you're going to run out of air, aren't you? And then run up again. 
Yeah, the fact that they're working in low air, in a low kind of oxygen environment in order to get oxygen down there is a bit of a catch-22. Oh well. 27% and then we'll have, yeah, our 96 again. <laughs> Just kind of displaced one up until this chlorine goes away. I bet there's a smarter way I could have gotten rid of the chlorine. What soaks it up? But some plants, Dasha. Uh, I could have gas filtered it out, but I don't want to. Oh, I was all talk. I was all big talk about throwing power at the problem, and I could have just done that. I could have set up a gas filter, a big gas reservoir. I'll do that down here at the bottom of the map when if when this is built. Ah, uh, yeah, loads of power. Why not just throw a gas pump and a filter at it? That was foolish. Is there any sense in doing that now? Not really, because it's only going to migrate down here. Yeah. Oh well. A good after the fact <laughs> uh, realization there from me. For anyone who's thinking along those lines, I'm very sorry that I am forgetting about stuff like that. Hey, we got Atmosu docks. Cool. Yeah, we're getting well through the research tree. We won't get to use it for all for a while, but that's good to see. Now let's just start doing these one by the other, one after the other, um, just so that they get marked off. We'll use all of it eventually. Ish. Some things, some buildings I just haven't used in forever, like an ore scrubber. I haven't used that in a long time, uh, and I don't think I intend to. Cool. That'll take a while to do. It'll keep uh, auto busy for a while, which is fine by me. Hmm. Is there an... There's no germ-free path up there. <laughs> Unless I want to go through the abyssal light. Oh well. Alright, that's going to keep running. Uh, let me deconstruct that now. Free up some more coal. Oh, we're actually low on coal. I mean, it's not a big problem because we've got big veins everywhere, but uh, still, it's not good to see. You're next. Bit like that. Seven. Oh, we're so close. Someone just go and build that. Please. <laughs> Come on. How about, uh, no. and there we go, <laughs> cool, um, let's see, no one I want I bet, nope, uh, you're pretty good, Liam, but I, I can't really afford you in terms of resources right now, and we're getting into that bit of coal, which is good. Not, not that we desperately need it, it's just uh, it would be good to have a little stockpile. Oh, this is... No, it's not getting filled up because it's fine. Um, but yeah, that's... Just, how come that's not running? Ah. Of course. It wouldn't, would it? I could... I'll just leave both of these up. Um, because... There's no sense in deconstructing that yet. It can soak up a little bit of the CO2 that gets pulled down here as this kind of gets dis gotten rid of. At least that's the theory. And now I can work on carving out a big chunk. This is again, I'm full of, uh, you know what, I'll line it up with my grid. I'm full of uh, temporary solutions here because this is just gonna be a little bit of a space for uh, gases to fall into. But that's fine for now. Big space. And another one. Oh, that was weird. I swear I included that top row. Uh, okay, cool. These are nearly running as well, which means we'll be back in food surplus before too long. Um, oh, yes, that's finally able to work. Cool. Now it should be running 
24 7 now that it's on. Why isn't it? It's surrounded by CO2. Oh. Or maybe it isn't. That's unusual. Oh, it's something's some rotting. What's rotting? It's not the eggshells. Huh. Very weird. I'll just sweep whatever the heck is in there. And then I'll put it over here. <laughs> just as a very temporary measure. Uh, I don't know what that is. What is it? Oh, it's polluted dirt. Oh, we can just compost that. That's not a, that's not a big deal. I'll just set the compost priority a smidge higher to nine. Cool. Um, yeah, let's get these plants harvested and get this kind of get this built and running. I'm really hating all these starvation warnings that I keep getting, but just in time, we can watch these sprout up. <laughs> Perfect. Problem sort of solved. So where are our farmers? Marie is busy. <laughs> I think a lot of people have, well, a couple of people have food poisoning, yeah, so they're going to take bathroom breaks during the day, which is not ideal, but it's fine. Um, we will work on f cleaning that up next. Because we said today we were going to get that done, and a self-powered auction machine, which I think is not quite on the cards yet. It's not necessary. It will be once this, I'll say when the hydrogen hits about here, <laughs> I'll start to think about maybe making a spawn, but for now it's not not needed. That's not too bad for temperature. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we want to get down to plastic. Uh, eventually. Uh, again, no rush. That'll be kind of an episode eight or nine thing, but we want to get down to oil so we can get plastic, make a steam turbine and start deleting heat. I would quite like to see that happening on this map especially. Um, but yeah, this should be running now. I really want someone to get rid of this polluted dirt. Sweep it urgently. Well, there's no point in doing that because there's nowhere to sweep it. I just hope they get the message. Starvation. Oh, that's not good. Sorry. I can just take some polluted dirt for now. <laughs> I just really want rid of it. Sorry. Sorry. Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Nope. Hey, you got it. <laughs> Cool. So this should start to run on. Oh no. Why did you get some of it and not all of it? Hopefully they got that bit of food that they needed. Wow, that's truly annoying. Uh, and it's just cleaning the oxygen. <laughs> okay. Nothing else is off-gassing? What? What are you? What? Okay, something mysterious is happening there. Where is the polluted dirt coming from? Oh, someone just dropped it on the line when they... They couldn't breathe on this ladder, so they just dropped it back down again, I bet. That's really annoying. I wish they wouldn't. Ah, that's messing up this system so much. Just that one little bit of polluted dirt. It's probably going to starve some of my duplicates. Ah... Well, first thing tomorrow, I'll get it fixed. Two people start bringing their sleep. Super. One and two. You're both fine. There's plenty of food to wake up to. <sighs> That's supremely annoying. That there's just one little... And it's not even destroying itself. It's not off-gassing enough to be gotten rid of. Okay, those starvation warnings should start going away. Oh, you, did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Someone got it? I think someone got it. Ah, it's been gotten rid of. So, 
the second this oxygen gets out of there, which it should do. Yeah, it's starting to blip out of there. That's good to see. Perfect. Cool. Okay, what next? Um, the food shortage will sort itself out soon. Um, I'm pretty happy now. Or I will be. Tell you what, I'll get back whenever this auction has gone away. I think I have a slightly strange solution. There's not very much gas down here, so if I just tell people to run down here, they'll breathe it. <laughs> Maybe? I don't know if they'll actually bother to breathe it. It was just, I tried. Nope. That didn't work. Oh well, that was just a thought. Maybe if I got them to stand down there. I thought they would just breathe it and turn it back into CO2. But maybe not. Uh. Oh well. I remembered that there were oxygen sinks all around my map, running around. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I couldn't even get the words out, I was about to say, we're back to enough food. Okay. How's the map looking on every front? Gas, we will deal with. Gas is fine. Power, we got a centralized system. Uh, I can bring that onto it. Actually, yeah, I can bring that onto it as well. So that we're not having to run a duplicate on there every so often. I'll save Auto some trouble. And it's quite easy to implement because there's a little bit of space left. Let's get a heavy watt joint plate. And there we have it. I'll get rid of that as well. Yeah, yeah, food shortage. <laughs> okay. That's so annoying. It's five micrograms of gas. It's five grams. If I dig it away, maybe that chlorine will float up rather than down. Yeah, okay. Carbon sink is winning. Slowly, this is starting to get lopsided and fall down here. That's good. No, just stay down there. Breathe the gas that's down there, please. There's not very much of it, but, you know. That's strange. I mean, I, I guess they're not going to stand there breathing if there's almost no oxygen, but I thought they'd just soak it up. Ooh, you would be good, but nope. Sorry, folks. Wow, that's crazy annoying. I mean, there's none, and it is, it should float. It should float away. Bizarre, bizarre behavior by that a little bit of oxygen there. I'll probably just end up having the same problem. Someone's gonna drop some polluted dirt down here and ruin my day before too long. We'll see. Okay, um, I'll get all this dug out and spring back. Finally. Uh, I'm not sure how many cycles it took, but the world's most stubborn little pocket of oxygen has finally been gotten rid of. Uh, I think what did it was I turned off the carbon skimmer. The carbon skimmer was sucking out any carbon dioxide that got just below that little pocket to push it up. Uh, so I turned that off. And now when we fire it back up, we should start to solve this problem. Start to. I'll need to get rid of the chlorine next, but that's fine. That's doable. Uh, in fact, I could just core across there and that'll get rid of more. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, 
that's a different line. I thought the coolant looked oddly stationary, but no. Nope. It's all fine. That's nice to see. It'll hopefully stabilize itself. There shouldn't be any more kind of periods where it, it'll turn on all at once whenever this gets up to 25 and then stay dormant for a long while. That's the way I'd like it to work, really. That's just slowly ticking down. How sad. Uh, I can't really give that anything else to do. Oh well. Okay. So, what next? A spawn? We don't have much refined uh, metal. We have some iron, 200 kilos. <laughs> That's probably not enough. You just need a little bit for automation, but I'd rather have a generous amount. Hmm. I'm already running a bit low on water. But it's fine. Um, so what did we say we were going to do next? I could explore the map a little bit more. I'm sure I've mentioned something that I was going to build and now I've forgotten. <laughs> that would be like me. Any new tech worth investigating? Nope. Nope. And probably nope. Nope, nothing interesting there. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd like to get my hands on some more water. How am I going to do that? This puddle here. Let's core out some more. And throw down some ladders. And just inject a little bit more water into my system. Would be nice. Some of it's getting recycled, some of it's getting eaten by the electrolyzers. So, uh, I do need a kind of a input for water. Oh, this these can turn off. Um, and this isn't quite cutting it yet. Oh, that's dormant now. <laughs> Just as we got the those up and running. That's going to be drained dry pretty quickly. And then we'll need a new source of power. Super duper. Oh well. Uh, I don't feel like trying to tame a volcano. How about we get down to oil? That seems possible. That's toasty. We have a tiny little window here to channel through. Uh, oh! I remember now. <laughs> yes. This is not great. In fact, I think the Abyssal Light Break was provided by our friendly neighborhood artifact here. Oh, wow. Okay, how are we going to go about solving this? I need to not let all that heat escape, and I need to cap it off. Atmos suits would be the best idea. I don't know. Is that up to 60? Yeah, I said I'd panic when that gets to 60, and it's already there. <sighs> hmm, how do I wall it all off? Don't want to let that steam out. That will kill us. That abyssalite's doing us a favor. Uh... Gosh. Okay, let's let's think about this. I think we're gonna go with Atmo suits. Uh, I had to think about it, and we just need some thimble reed, and no other solution really kind of came to me there. So let's have a look around the map. We gonna need a slime biome with some thimble reed plants. There's one. Are those accessible? I could come in like that. Maybe. Uh, any other ones? That look more friendly. Anything over here? Not really. Can I traverse that at all? No, there's no way around that in a particularly helpful way. Okay, and that was the last of the slime biomes, I believe. Yeah, those were our three options. Um, yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything more easy to access there. I'm going to have to go in here, which I didn't want to do. Loaded oxygen. Any slime? Nope. Okay. This is, this is an easy enough thing to do now. But I need to go claim me some uh, thimble reed. I can go in. Uh, I'm going to have to do a lot of abyssalite mining. I just don't want to have to go in here and mess that up. So uh, let's get to it, I guess. Across there. Someone will get dunked in water, but that's fine. And then ladder up. Well, nope. Not right next to the slime. Dig across. And then 
some minor duplicate ac acrobatics down and then how many have grown oh not enough I think we need two for an atmo suit if I remember correctly exosuit forge let's queue up just a smidge of iron um how about that much can we build that much that would take five tons yeah oh no it might take ten tons well we have it it's on the map metal yeah we've got plenty of iron ore so someone come along and do this please and then this and then we could even steal that and start to grow some domestically I might I'll just leave that one to grow on its own that'll stop this polluted gas getting out and into our base sort of Ah, uh, I could have done without the abyssal light break down here. That is really toasty. And it's already, I think it's probably already having an effect on our farm just from a distance. Like it's pushing this temperature up, which is pushing this up. It's just not a huge effect yet, but it will be. Without a doubt. But whenever we get that dealt with, that's all the impending doom done. We'll still want some more water in our base, though. And I never got around to that. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, Yeah, let's get our hands on that thimble reed. Well, there we go. We got a little bit further along there. And have uncovered a little bit more of the base. Uh, I think that's the telltale sign of a geyser up here. Um... Just that little bit of cool. I could be wrong. Uh, but another little facility here. Probably one, well, maybe one with a vaxillator, a neural vaxillator in it. We'll see. Um, two good things about our current situation. We're building up food. And secondly, this is almost about to drop another uh, thimble reed. Or, sorry, reed fiber. So we're not going to dig it up. We're actually just going to enable auto harvest. Which is something I don't do very often. And probably should. Um, I'm sure I missed out on a little bit of food around the map from not having done that before. But, oh well, live and learn. Uh, none of that's off-gassing, which is good. But yeah, we can uh, harvest that when we need to. How's our, meat, how's our metal coming along? Yeah, we've got we're closing in on a ton of iron, which isn't really a ton of iron, but uh, <laughs> it'll do. So, an exosuit forge. I can just drop that there next to the... <laughs> no, maybe not next to the graves. Uh, let's drop it here. R respect for the for the dead and everything. Uh, let's drop that down there. And... Cool. New printables. No, no, and no. Gossman, you would have been sort of useful just as a runner, but I'm afraid not. No, did we have any... Ah, I haven't been making use of our early birds. That's a mistake because they can be very useful. Downtime, bedtime. You go to bed early if you're an early bird and you get up earlier. Cool. Oh, we have a night oil too. I haven't been using these properly at all. That's a shame. So, early bird... night oil and the night owls are going to go to bed at some ludicrous time in fact there downtime slots bath time bath time yep who's our night owl? turner? cool that should be things working slightly more efficiently now and um, we got our reed fiber so that's enough for, I believe, just one ammo suit. But one is going to be all we need. Uh, I'm going to set up a gas... Uh, I'm going to set up a gas pump, a gas filter, and... Yeah, hope to solve that problem. We did get all the gases, all the annoying gases out of here, just about. Uh, if I go into the overlay for it, they are now just about down low enough. Because... Ah... Uh, don't tell me there's bleach stone here. 
<laughs> the problem reappears. A little pocket of gas over our carbon skimmer. Is there bleach down? No, there isn't. Just an annoying little pocket that's managed to gather. Well, it'll float away if I disable that, so that's fine. Um, yeah, so, is that built yet? I just want to find out how much reed fiber we need per Atmos suit to see how many duplicates we send on this mission. Um, yeah, two. I thought so. Okay, well, we're about to have an Atmos suit. Uh, and we're going to send them in, I think, from... Well, we don't want to disturb the Abyss Light, so from here. This will be a bit of a strange one. I think May is going to be doing most of the running for us. Atmo suit checkpoint. I'm not used to having these in this early, um, but desperate times. Okay, this is going to need a few things. To oh, that's opportune. <laughs> it's going to need a few things to function, including gas. No, hang on. How am I going to do this? Gas pump. Gas filter. Just stops it breaking it because we can't afford a lot of refined gases. Or refined. Refined gases. <laughs> refined metal. Sorry, I'm stressed and a little tired. Um. Hmm. Is it going to break our system if I plumb all these onto it? Probably. But, well, these aren't running anyway. <laughs> yeah, we're flat out of water, are we? Just about. Oh no. Oh, but... We have discovered a new source of plumbable water. Perfect. Just double checking that's not going to disturb some slime lung. And is there somewhere I can easily put that into? Oh, there definitely is. Right there. Uh, so, smart battery. You know what? I can just draw a power line from somewhere. From here. We'll get some overloading probably the way I the way I handle my things, but this is just gonna be the case until we get a lot of refined metal on our hands. Okay, cool. no easy way I can just eh, I can drill through there there's some nice sterile slime there and then we'll get this little bit skimmed off the top as well which is good um, can I make anything fall down there no nothing easily accessible how are the germs yeah pretty pretty rough there but I haven't cored into any over here either so that's fine has that chlorine gone away no it hasn't that's really hateful Really, really annoying. Like that's disturbing our whole operation here. And I wouldn't mind, except for the fact that we've still got some reasonable amount of carbon dioxide to process. Oh well. How's this coming along? Not at all yet. Okay, I'll speed up to when we have this built. You can see we're building up a food stockpile now, which is good. With some minor modifications, all that's left is to throw down these Atmo suits. And we'll be able to send May on her merry way down here. Into a very inhospitable environment. Just getting the metal together for that. Hassan is pretty stressed. But that's okay. Nothing too critical yet. I turned that off, and yeah, that seems to be the fix for it. The chlorine is now being gotten rid of. Look, 18 grams of chlorine messing us up there. More than a little bit frustrating. Oh well. That's solved now. Um, And we're slowly getting this built so that we can get some water into the system. You know what? That's not a 9, that's an 8. Build this first, please. <laughs> really want to get in here. And as I core through this, I'll be deleting temperature as I do, so that's good. I need to find a way to not let that steam cause us problems. I'll probably do that by snaking my way kind of down. Some of the steam will flash to water, uh, and then, or drop to water, and then create a little seal for us if I do this smart, which is 
may be possible. We'll see. Uh, yeah, so let's get this built. And finally, to throw an Atmos suit in there. But that's getting nice and full up with oxygen, which is good. It's a really not the perfect system for this, but it'll do. Oh, especially not with the low oxygen that we have down here. You know what, I could use that to force some of the gas down where I want it to be. Don't know why I decided up was the right direction for the rejected gases. That would be nicer if I just forced them down here. Okay, I'm gonna suit in. Um, so, who's allowed in here? No one. Default access, no one. May, you get special privileges to go in here, and dig us up some uh, some craziness down here. So let's get to exploring. So priority nine. And yeah, we're gonna get to that hopefully. There we go, suited. So how do we sneak across? I'm gonna go as far this way as I can and then straight down probably. Something like that. I need a way to uh, make kind of an accidental, uh, it's not too hard to do. If I make something a bit like that, if steam gets into this at all and turns to water, it'll block one of either this, 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 or these tiles. Sorry, no, these three. And then that will stop it from, uh, they'll turn to water and stop it from exchanging gases. In theory, I'll do the same over here, just to make sure. Uh, it's, you know, it might not work. I'll deal with that problem if it comes to it. May has decided that there's better things to do because uh, I didn't set those as a high enough priority. Whoops. Where'd you go? Well, you're the second most stressed, so you're not hard to find. Ah. That figures. What have I set that to? Oh, nine. Never mind. Didn't really need to ask, did I? Of course I've set it to nine. Okay, so that's just a pocket of hot rocks. It's not actually a volcano. Good to know. Oh, call that sneeze. <laughs> yeah, I'm not liking that. This is nice and temperate. Oh, most of this is less than 90. Or 30. I'd like to hope it's less than 90. Although that doesn't seem to be a guarantee anymore. Uh, May, watch up to you. Get on it, please. Oh, and that's your giving up for today? <laughs> okay. I'm curious as to why. What did you go to do instead? Oh, the bathroom. Are you food poisoning? No. You're just needing to go. Well, when you gotta go, I guess. What schedule are you on? Ah, that's why. You're on downtime. Well, I didn't realize. In fact, yeah, to stop my con confusing myself, I'm just gonna turn shift alarms off. And then I'll assume that they're doing the right thing. I'm liking this. That's enough food for one and a half cycles. <laughs> oh, we're storing loads of stuff over here. Oh, it's all pinch of pepper nuts. That figures. No, no, and no. I mean, you're all decent. I just can't afford you. What's over here? Yeah, so now that these are on the map, they're starting to sprite, which is good. I'll get plenty of thimble read out of that just from leaving it alone. Nothing more interesting has revealed itself. The oil biome can't be too much farther down there. Printing pod, space, and yeah, I'd say oil is about this level. Okay, so we discovered the source of the problem. <laughs> uh, that's a volcano, but it has buried itself, which is good. Oh, yeah. Oh, some gaseous phosphor phosphorus at incredibly high pressure. Wow. Oh, look at you. I hate you. <laughs> Don't like morbs. They cause problems. Okay, we're going to get in here and solve this. 
It'd be nice if I had an ice biome, you know? I haven't seen one. And I get that I shouldn't really expect to, given that I have volcanoes and I'm on a radio. I don't even know... I don't know the worlds well enough to know if they all have ice biomes, but it'd be nice to see one. Maybe that's where you're leaking from. Who knows? That's water. Oh. Okay. May, what you up to? You should be awake. Where are you? Are you down here? Yeah, of course. That's five. Come on. Go do the nine priority instead. Oh, it's that's a build. Huh. Okay. Well, you're going to share this area with a sun. Where are you, buddy? Okay, that'll slow down progress a little bit, but not too much. Hassan's also going to be on ladder building duties, presumably. Okay, if I stagger this, I just really don't want to let too much of this steam out of here. So, if I do this, and I get a blip of water there or there, it'll do the same thing. It's really, it's a really, really uh, low-tech solution, but it's what I got for now. And then we'll go down? Where do we want to cap it from? Very curious. could just go in here and have a look. It's got a morb in there, but it's not like I'm going to get slime lung right now. Uh, at these temperatures. It's pretty sterile. Yeah, that'll be one with the neural vaccinator. In fact, I think that's where the water came from. I think I know the layout of this thing. Um, a tiny part of me wants to core through the abyss light here and just but that's probably stupid yeah that's stupid let's just do it normally overheated yeah well it would do wouldn't it okay um, from there we're gonna go down then we're going to core across. Oh, I wonder who bit the dust here. Two things. Or maybe just, I can't remember what gives off however much meat. Insulated a tile. Yeah, something weird has happened here because they're normally quite contained. We'll find out. You're going to be able to climb down there. Climb down there. Oh, you'll be able to climb all the way down to that with no ladders. I think. And then we'll cap it from... Uh, about something like this area and then across. Is that natural gas? Nope. <laughs> Hard to tell in this slightly dark. What do we think? Yeah, capping it right in, in line with this is probably a good idea. It'll leave us with a lot of this to deal with though. But that's fixable. And it'll equalize with something like this if I core out the abyss light. And hopefully not affect the farm too much. That's all I really care about. In fact, that's a lot of hot steam. But if I core this off, no, it'll be fine. As long as I cap it, that's the main thing. Yeah, but there's no point in capping it if I... I'm just capping none of the area at all. Because this has already sealed itself, so it's just gonna... Hmm. This requires a little bit of thought. I think... Maybe something like... Oh gosh, I really don't know. Something like that should contain a lot of it. No, there's no point. I'm not. I'm not doing that much more, and I'm just causing a lot more problems. I'll just cap it, cap it straight across. One layer I'll do for now, and then we'll go for two. But I'll wait until I've explored this first. Priority nine, <laughs> just like everything else. And they haven't seen anything more interesting yet. Okay, uh, I'll skip to something more interesting. Well, that took a lot longer than I expected because I forgot to give them a way in. I f some bl uh, brick appeared here and I forgot to dig through it. A good thing to see though is that because uh, the steam is turning to water, this little plan that I had is kind of working. Um, it creates kind of a, a really, really low-tech airlock for me, which helps. Um, but as temperature moves, it's just going to keep shifting that. But keeps the steam from just going whoosh, whoosh in and killing me. Which is good. That's what I want. Um, where are... 
Okay, that chlorine's causing us some problems over here, but it's not the end of the world. Oh, and I'll continue to because we've got this broken. Uh, I could nearly do with just disabling these. They're really not doing me many favors right now. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna kill the intake to that because this isn't giving out much natural gas. Which means I need to turn these on. But yeah, I think we're probably gonna call it around there. It's already a really long episode. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this was this caught me completely off guard, and I'm gonna have to deal with it pretty quickly. But I think we have the means to do so. Um, so yeah, for the next episode we'll be dealing with this. This of course went dormant on us, which figures. Um, but yeah, we'll get to exploring a little bit more of the map. Maybe set out a, set out a self powered oxygen machine, like we promised to. Let's just reject one last duplicate. Um, yeah, you would be really nice, but you only cook, so nope. Afraid not. Okay. And with that, uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like, leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. All the best.